Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Forecasting climate is very difficult, but forecasting climate fraud is actually quite easy. Roy Spencer and John Christie manage the satellite temperature data set at the University of Alabama, Huntsville. A few years ago, Roy Spencer said, I'll bet the hottest data set wins the biggest government grant. Eight years ago, Ted Cruz held a Senate hearing on climate. In that hearing, he used my graph showing how the U.S. temperature data set had been altered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And he also used a graph like this showing satellite data from remote sensing systems. The graph showed that there had been little or no warming over the last 20 years. After Ted Cruz used this graph, I knew that Carl Mears at Remote Sensing Systems was going to come under a lot of political pressure. Newspapers started accusing him of aiding and abetting climate deniers. So I made this prediction on my blog. Look for the satellite data to be adjusted to bring it into compliance with the fully fraudulent surface temperatures. The Guardian is now working to discredit the University of Alabama at Huntsville, so it seems likely that remote sensing systems will soon be making big changes to match the needs of the climate mafia. Bookmark this post. And I used this animated GIF showing how I predicted that the temperature data set would be rotated counterclockwise to create the appearance of warming. Roy Spencer at the University of Alabama at Huntsville made a similar prediction. He said, I expect there will soon be a revised lower troposphere product from RSS, which shows enhanced warming too. Here's what I'm predicting. Neither John Christie nor I will be asked to review the paper. It will quickly sail through peer review. It will have many authors, including climate model people and the usual model pundits, which will supposedly lend legitimacy to the new data adjustments. And our predictions were correct. A few months later, Carl Mears at Remote Sensing Systems altered the data to create warming. The independent newspaper bragged, Climate change skeptics suffer blow as satellite data correction shows 140% faster global warming. My previous video focused on climate fraud from the independent, which was co-founded by the father of Boris Johnson's climate activist wife. Now I'm going to show you exactly what Carl Mears at Remote Sensing Systems did to alter the data. This is what his climate webpage looked like in 2016. The yellow band showed the range of climate model predictions. The blue band showed the error range for his satellite observations. And the text read, after 1998, the observations are likely to be below the simulated values indicating that the simulation as a whole are predicting too much warming. And as I mentioned earlier, the satellite observation showed essentially no warming over the previous 20 years. But as I predicted and Roy Spencer predicted, Carl Mears altered his data. His satellite data now shows warming. He's eliminated the blue error bar and the text reads something very different. Now it says, after 1998, the observations are likely to be in the lower part of the model distribution, indicating that there is a small discrepancy between the model predictions and the satellite observations. But even after the data tampering, there's still a pretty large discrepancy between the satellite observations and the model predictions. Now I'm going to show you exactly what Carl Mears did under pressure from the climate industrial complex. This was the 2016 version, which showed little or no warming and showed a blue error range. And this is the current version, which shows some warming and no blue error range. This graph shows the two previous graphs superimposed on top of each other. The blue region is the previous error range and the dark black line is the current version of the graph. It's pretty easy to see what Carl Mears did. He moved his black line to the upper edge of the blue error range and stopped displaying the error range completely. He simply eliminated the error range and assumed that the high end of the error range was correct. This is not a legitimate scientific technique, but it's the sort of data tampering we see all the time to create the appearance of imaginary warming. Toto has been playing back the curtain on climate fraud for almost 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, 
Toki Upala and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.